Okay. I hope that's better. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is China. If you are new, um, make sure you subscribe before you leave. Hit that like button. But I just wanted to do a story time, basically, um, when I dated a football player or whatever. Um, my lighting is kind of, like, I had to put lighting in here, and I just kind of woke up, so yeah i'm trying to get like a nice just background i'm trying to like you know do different things and figure out how i want my background to be set up none of this like the back and then this light in this i'm burning up hot i'm burning up hot so um yeah i just basically wanted to do a story time video um of the time that I dated a football player because the thing is I did a video yesterday and you guys really liked it and you guys seem to really like my story times when I tell my stories stuff like that so why not okay so I'm gonna start off how we met whatever I'm not going to say the football player's name or anything like that or where he lived where he's from because I'm just not gonna do that <laughs> okay so we met um I was, I went to a club called Compound here in Atlanta, and I don't know what week it was. It was like some big, matter of fact, <laughs> oh my God, matter of fact, it was the week that Boosie got out of jail. So, um, I had went, I believe it was the week that Boosie got out of jail, but I had went to Compound, and I was walking up, and got out of my car was walking up to go in or whatever and um i was meeting a girl there and he seen me he was in a lamborghini and he was like he rolled his window down like he wouldn't he you could tell like he really didn't want to say nothing but he really did so he rolled his window down and he seen me walking across the street so he had like one of his homeboys or assistants or something like that come get me and um he parked his Lamborghini in valet and he was like, uh, he was like, I want you. Like you, I was real small then with like a huge, but like I wasn't as thick as I am now. But he was like, I want you, you my type, like you fine as hell, whatever. So that happened, we exchanged numbers. So I ended up going in, I went in, he went in, got his section or whatever, but I was already going to be in another section. So, and I think I was actually meeting a girl and a girl there with some dudes as well. So, the dude got me, you know, I went in at the door, went in the VIP section. He texted me. So, I really wasn't comfortable the section that I was in. So, he texted me and he like, he had somebody come find me in the club. So, the person came and find me, y'all. Um... So, matter of fact, I was with a friend. I'm going to tell you about that. So, um, when he came, the dude came and got me. He brought me and the girl over that was with me, which was a friend at the time, and to his section. And he was like, uh, he was in the section directly next to Bootsy at the top of. So, we chilling, we hanging out, he popping bottles. He don't even drink, but he just getting getting whatever we want, asking what we want, just, you know. But the thing is, he's like real quiet and real laid back. So he's really not saying too much, but he just, I could tell he was digging me. So whatever, we leave the club, whatever. The next day, he want me to meet him at his hotel. He was like, no funny shit. Nothing like that. Just come see me. I just want to see you before I leave to go back home. So I take my sister and a girl um, that's from Ohio. She came up here to visit me. I take her with me to go meet up with him. He's at the Intercontinental in Buckhead. He got the penthouse suite. I pull up there. Um, I have never been there yet before. So I pull up there. I was like, oh my God, this his Lamborghini was parked outside in the front, um, and he had his, the same guy come get me, 
So we go up to the room. I just chill with him for like literally y'all like an hour. Me, my sister, and my friend um, at the time. And he had like his homeboys there. We was penthouse suite, top floor. Everything was really nice. And before I leave, he was like, come here. So I come, we have a conversation, you know, I'm talking to him at first. Before I leave, he's like, come here. So I come, he gives me $1,500 just for showing up. He was like, this is just for showing up, you know, um, spending your day with me for a little bit. I think he did that to really like draw me in because he like, I want to deal with her. So let me give her some money. So he gave me $1,500. So I leave. I don't count the money. I don't know how much he gave me or anything. So I leave. And I tell my sister and my friend, like, bitch, he just gave me 50. Like, I, I'm counting the money in the car because I don't want to pull off. I wonder how much money you even gave me. <laughs> so I'm counting the money in the car. I'm like, bitch, he just gave me $1,500. I didn't do nothing with him at all. Like, I literally just, we came to see him and that was it. And nobody seen him give me the money because we was in the penthouse suite. So it was like, it was so nice. The, the room was just like so nice. So, whatever that happened, they was like, what? And the girl was like, dang, I should have talked to his friend. Like, I should have been talking to his friend. But his friends really wasn't saying too much of anything. They just was chilling, drinking. Everybody was drinking. Me and my, my sister and my friend wasn't drinking or anything. So, that happened. Um, and then after that, he started flying me out to him and stuff like that. And I would literally be with him for like, I would be with him for like two hours at the most. And every time like he'd fly me out, he would give me like $1,500, $2,000, $3,000. Like he'd give me no less than $1,500 basically. And I would literally, I would not have to stay the night with him. I would never... Like, we would mess around, I'm not even going to lie. It took a minute before we messed around. Me and him been dealing with each other for, like, four or five years. So, it took a minute for us to start messing around. But, uh, okay, I'm back, y'all. Um, it was burning up hot. I had to turn my fan on. Anyways, okay, so he'd give me some money to come see him. And he would fly. He would, you know, give me a good flight, whatever. And... We will always stay at the nicest place, like the nicest hotels, different states. And I would literally only be with him for like two hours because at that time where he was playing football at, he lived, like he lived, lived in different states and stuff like that. I'm not going to say the states and all that, but he lived in different states. So he already had his place there. So he would basically just get us a nice hotel and he would leave. He would have football practice, and he just would go home. I didn't ask him if he had a girlfriend. I didn't ask him none of that stuff. So he would just go home, and um, before he would leave, like, we would spend, like, an hour, two hours. He would make sure he put 3000 2000 1500 on the table before he would leave. Um, and he would leave, you know whatever you want just put it on the room like i just you know go down to the bar because i i'm in a whole nother state and now all i had to do was spend like an hour or two with him and then sometimes we'd go hang out like at clubs different states and like i told you it will, it will always be like it was always gonna be vip treatment basically so um fast forward he had moved into a house um, I don't know which come first because this was years ago and we was dealing with each other for five years. So I'm just telling y'all like the story that I dealt with him. So he moved into a house, um, and it was cold. It was snowing. I'm not going to say where or anything, but he moved into a huge house and, um, he was still moving in. He flew me there. That was my first time ever being at a house of his because, He's never took me, like, we've always been at hotels, real nice hotels. So, he took me to this house. His house was so beautiful. Like, it was so big. In the garage, he had a Range Rover, uh, what, a Range Rover, a Bentley. Uh, like, he had, like, really nice cars in his garage. And you could tell he's just moving in, whatever. It was beautiful. 
and um, he flew me down there. He would go to his football practice, leave me at the house. And I, I think I stayed there longer. I think I stayed for like three days. So we end up going out, going to go get some hookahs. He don't smoke or he don't drink. So we end up going to get hookahs and drinks and hanging out at one of the bars. And then after we got done, we went to one of his friends, another football player's house. And it was like four football players um, just over at the friend's house. So we was his house was beautiful too. Like we was in his basement. They was playing the game. They was talking. We was drinking, taking shots. Then we went back to his house, just me and him. I mean, house is beautiful. Um, and like I told you, I mean, him now, not now, but we've been dealing with each other for some years. So one time, um, he flew me out and we ended up messing around with each other, whatever. And he didn't leave me no money. <laughs> Bitch, I was mad. I'm calling his phone. He ain't answering the phone, y'all. He's not doing any of that. Like, he's ignoring my calls because i'm upset yeah my flight is booked i'm at a nice hotel i order room service whatever but where's my money you usually leave me money like you flew me down here obviously and i have to take off work so where's my money for taking off work basically so he didn't leave me with no money um and at that time i was going through something to where like i really needed the money i just knew in my head oh he's going to give me like three thousand dollars so i really needed the money and he didn't leave none. So I cut him off right then and there because I'm just like, you don't play with me because we messed around. We was dealing with each other. Like, we was, we wasn't in a relationship, but we was really, really dealing with each other. Like, we would see each other probably once a month. And when I did see him, he was cashing out. He was looking out for me. And we was doing, you know, luxury stuff. Like, we was having fun. He was never buying me gifts. He would, he would just give me the money. So when I cut him off, I just stopped dealing with him. I was like, I'm not dealing with, no, dealing with this. Like, you, I had to use my own money to Uber to um, the airport and just all of that. It pissed me off. So I called my mom crying. I'm like, Mom, you know, because uh, usually, honestly, I'm just be honest. Um, I used to pay her to watch my kids because y'all know we don't. I don't have no family in georgia other than my cousin but i used to pay her to watch my kids um so i told her like he left and didn't give me no money and stuff like that um i know how it probably sound but in my head we was really dealing with each other like we was really rocking so she was like whatever it's okay just come back you know whatever so i came back when my flight because my flight i i, I told y'all when i used to go i used to only go for one day when I went to his house, when he bought the house, that was my first time going for like three or four days to be with him. I've never, like we literally would spend one day. And when he would come to Atlanta, um, he would always stay in the nicest, in Buckhead, in the nicest place. And like everybody knew him and stuff like that. And um, it was just always VIP treatment. And when he come to Atlanta, he would give me around 500 to a thousand dollars to hang out with him for a couple of hours or the day even if we going to the club like we going to the club he gonna give me like 1500 like he just i never was like oh i need three thousand like i would let him give me whatever he wanted to give me even though i know that he have he's a millionaire you have a lot of money i just let him give me what he wanted to give me because you know um, I probably should ask for more, but I didn't want to be greedy because I still was working. I think I was a dancer at the time, so I still was working. And I only had one child at the time. I, I don't remember. But, yeah. Um, so, when I cut him off from him doing that, a couple months later, he reached back out to me. He was like, I'm so sorry. Um, I had football practice. And um, he was like, and I just... It was like, I really don't have no excuse for doing that to you, so I'll make it up to you, whatever. He never gave me the money of that time, which, like I said, it was fine. So I ended up giving in, you know, dealing back with him. So we was, you know, back at him giving me $1,500, $3,000, stuff like that. Um, and we just, it our our relationship was weird like we didn't we never called each other's phone 
we never like he literally i'll let him hit me up so when he texts me bitch oh he didn't text me oh it's time to go mom i need a babysitter she already knew what it was cool i'm fine anytime he texts me i didn't care what i was doing if i was going to work whatever i was doing i was coming um but yeah like i said he used to just fly me to different cities but and he kind of the one that introduced me to the luxury type of you know and then one time he flew he had he flew me and him back to georgia but he got a first class flight and he wanted me to um go ahead he let me out before like he wanted me basically we couldn't walk together we couldn't be seen together you know what i mean so um obviously i'm not his girlfriend never said i was his girlfriend never none of that but we couldn't be seen together so he would fly first class on the same flight as me i would be in the main cabins but i wouldn't be in first class with him because i couldn't be seen with him and we'd be texting while he in first class and um he'd send me some money while while we in first class or you know he'd be like you want a drink or something i could let them know like stuff like that um i think he did that again to me where i came to see him and he didn't give me the money that would that you know and i was pissed about it because i'm like okay you're not about to keep you didn't did this again i don't remember what what how we stopped dealing with each other i think it was because of that i was just done with it no we stopped we stopped dealing with each other like that because i stopped i think that was around the time i just stopped dancing i was done dancing and he was just like i i just was like i'm done with this life i'm done with you know i just felt like i'm having sex with this person for money and even though I liked him, I didn't like him. Like, it was no connection between us. We just was dating. Like, we were just hanging out, going to nice places, and turning up in the clubs together. And he's paying me to do all of this stuff. And I just was done. Like, when I, that's what happened. When I stopped dancing, I blocked his number. I blocked him on social media and stuff like that. He's really not like a social media type of person. But I blocked him on everything because I was just like, I'm done. I'm done with that type of life because you, first of all, you're flying me out to you and you're not giving me my money. Like, you did this to me twice and I allowed it. And then I had to look at it like, I want to be a girlfriend. Like, I don't want to be someone that you're just paying and hanging out with. Even though it's fun, it's really fun. And you introduced me to a lot of stuff. And he wasn't like the flashy type. He didn't wear like Gucci, Chanel, Prada. Like he didn't, he had money and didn't have to, he didn't wear the jewelry and just all of that. But yeah, I just wanted to tell that story. Um, and then I, I kind of had wanted to do like a threesome with him but we, it didn't end up happening because of like I said I just cut him off I was like I'm not dealing with this type of I'm not dealing with this no more I want to be with one man I don't want my man to have multiple different women's or like I rather if I'm dealing with you we live together or you get me a house and like I don't know I don't know if that was just what was in my mind because I, I was like, I'm tired of dancing. I'm tired of living this life. I don't got time to live this life to be just somebody you hang out and have fun with. Maybe I should have kept going because I was young and should have been getting them coins. It was fun while it lasted. Um, but since I blocked him, like, I don't know none of his social media. I don't know none of that because he I told you he's really not a social media type person. People run his page for him. So, yeah, um, I don't know. I just wanted to tell that story. I know it's not really, you know, I didn't want to go into death with everything. But, like I said, it was fun while wow, it lasted. I've had my experiences with different type of, you know, and I don't know. 
the thing is that type of life like that lifestyle not that lifestyle the thing is i could do all of that stuff for myself now before i couldn't really do it for myself i could but i was i was just plain old dumb with my money like i was spending that's why when i told you he used to give me three thousand dollars a month stuff like that i was it was spent because like that's basically that was basically my bills three thousand dollars so if you give me the three thousand dollars i'm able to pay my bills i don't have to work because in my head i'm like it's three thousand dollars even though that's not a lot but around that time like and then i was younger and i wasn't smart with my money now i can do for myself and i could take myself on a vacation i could take myself on a first class trip i can uh buy myself stuff i can you know drip myself out like i could do all of that that he could do and before i really couldn't so i just feel like i was over it i want to be a wife one day like i want i want someone to love me for me and never walk out on me and my family my kids like so that life was cool when i was living it because i had a lot of experiences that i probably tell y'all more videos that i had but it just wasn't me anymore like i've even done that with a regular guy that was getting to the money doing that like getting money just getting all his money and i just feel like i love it now that i'm able to do for myself do these things for myself i'm able to buy myself these luxuries not even just luxuries i'm able to keep up with myself and not have to ask a man like it feels so good not to have to call a man and be like can i have twenty dollars can i have five hundred dollars can i have two thousand dollars like it feels so good for me to be able to that car outside i got myself this house i got myself this watch this everything these braids just everything i bought myself the vacations like the mexico i bought for myself i didn't have to I didn't have to do stuff that I didn't want to do for this vacation or, you know, um, that hotel that he was staying at, even though I would not, I would not get no damn, uh, penthouse suite, but trust me, I will, I will deal with somebody that has a penthouse suite because I feel like I'm worth it, but I'm not going to buy myself no penthouse suite because I'm cool with just a room. It'll always just be me. So I'm cool with being by myself with a room but i can afford that hotel i can afford you know those type of things so like i said it just feels so good but i just wanted to tell y'all my little story i'm going to have a lot more that i want to do i wonder if i should cut this off and do another one because i have another one but i just wanted to tell y'all about how i you know my experience with a football player um and how good it feels for me to be able to do all of these things by myself now so thank you so much for watching this video i don't know how long it is i don't want it to be too long thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate it um comment down below if you experienced the same thing before um and i'm trying to debate if i'm going to do another story time really quick so i love y'all so much thank you so much and like comment and subscribe